what's up family i'm rachel and i'm joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos today we're gonna make another recipe what is it we're gonna make a cinnamon roll mug cake mm, and we will roll out that delicious recipe right, right after, after this, this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today's video is all about mug cakes. We're gonna make a cinnamon roll mug cake. Mm, I actually love cinnamon roll mug cakes. They're delicious. Yeah, and this is a really easy recipe to make. How easy is it? This recipe is so easy that even Rachel can make it. That is quickly becoming my favorite sort of recipe. <laughs> Well, I love this recipe. I've been making this for like almost two years. I came up with it a while ago and then I've tweaked it a little bit say, here and there. I was going to say you tweaked it because it just keeps getting better and better. Yep. Now, the one thing about this is it does have a little extra step compared to the last time that you made a mug cake. Wait, like how difficult is not, this step? Not much more difficult, but the whole thing is, is we're going to go for that swirled in cinnamon look. Oh, where it's like marble. Like where it's nice and marble. So there's a little extra step. And the nice thing about this recipe is it's super fatty. Mm. I mean, it's so fatty, you can almost use this as a fat bomb. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I love that because usually the fat bombs we have are like this big. Yeah. And, and the mug cake is like this big. <laughs> so you ready to get into this? Heck yes. Okay, let's go over everything we're going to need. The first thing we're obviously going to need is we're going to need a mug. Now, we usually use ramekins. I just find it much easier than using a coffee mug. Stuff just like slides right out of these guys too. Yeah, I just like it. It's not quite as tall and it, you get a nice wider uh, mug cake. Okay, the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some coconut flour. Coconut flour. Okay. Then we're going to need some coconut oil. Okay, now this is proof positive it is too hot in our house. Why? Because this is supposed to be solid. It's only solid at like 72 degrees. Get, get us to where, you know what? You can turn the air off when the coconut oil goes solid, sir. <laughs> too hot. Okay. We're gonna need some flaxseed. I prefer the golden flaxseed, but you can use either one, but I think the golden flaxseed has a much better taste to it. Okay. Okay, we need an egg. And why not have a happy egg? Okay. This is the Happy Egg Company. Obviously it's a cinnamon mug cake, so we're gonna need some ground cinnamon. Mmm. We need some That's baking good. powder. We need some salt. Yay! And then finally, you're gonna need some monk fruit. And we're actually gonna use two different things. We're gonna use the granular monk fruit, mm -hmm. and then we're also gonna use the liquid monk fruit because that'll help lower the total carbs. Oh, wow, it's okay. gonna lower it. It's gonna lower the total carbs because this has no carbs in it at all, whereas that has four total carbs per teaspoon. Oh, in order to make it Now like there is a, a way, yeah. Now there is a way to not use that, but we'll discuss that at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this everything over to the side a little bit so okay. everyone can see what you're gonna do. Okay. You also, by the way, need an extra little mug. Or like oh, just no. a little bowl or something like that. We're bringing in more apparatus. Okay, so you need your coconut oil. That's you too need hot. Two tablespoons. Yeah, but it's good because see, this is perfect because since it's a liquid, you don't have to go melt it. Let me turn it to the Do side. You like this a little logic? Bit. So go ahead and scoop out two tablespoons of coconut oil. All right. Now fill it all the way up. Wow. And do you just roll it no, around? No, no, you don't have to do any of that. Oh, okay. Okay. Now go ahead and cover that back up. I love that smell. Grab this for you. Okay, now using the other end of your tablespoon measure, you need one tablespoon of coconut flour. Okay. I love that. And you're gonna need one tablespoon of your golden flaxseed meal. Is it okay to mix these guys? Yes. Is that good? Now I'll put a little bit more in there. There you go. Like that? Yep. 
Now, if you don't have the flaxseed meal, you can just go buy golden flaxseeds and stick them in like a coffee grinder or in your food processor or blender or something like that and grind it up yourself. I usually just buy this one and this is actually my favorite flavor. Or my favorite brand. How old are we that we have a favorite flavor of flaxseed? I know, tell me about it. Okay, you need a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And you just need a dash of salt in there. And we decided that a dash is dupe. Oh no, you dashed it for me. Sorry. You're too quick. Okay. Your dash um, is faster. Okay, so we're gonna use the liquid monk fruit because okay. this is gonna give you a lot of sweetness. Mm -hmm. You can also use stevia if you want. You're gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon of it. We're gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of the monk fruit, monk fruit extract, which comes out to be about 15 drops. But again, you can vary the sweetness to your liking. I like it sweet. Okay. Now finally you need an egg. All right. Let me grab you a fork over here. Come out. Okay. Put him back over here. <laughs> okay, go ahead and mix it up really well. Right. Now you're gonna notice it's very, very liquidy. Yes okay? it is. But what's gonna happen is, is as we let that sit, the coconut flour is gonna soak up a lot of that liquid, which is why uh -huh. we're doing this first. But make sure you get it fully incorporated. Make sure you kind of get around on all the edges and everything else. We're not just trying to break up the egg. We're trying to mix everything. Okay. Because you see how it's like all stuck to the bottom and in the corner? We don't have any cinnamon in this yet. Nope. Because that's going to go in in a minute. Yeah, I can already see it kind of like thickening up into a sauce-like consistency. Is that good? No, keep going. You don't have it all mixed up. That's better. Like that. You're gonna make a mixer out of me yet. Okay, so that should be about good. Now I'm just gonna, I want them to be able to see. You can see how, like, see how it's very, very liquidy. Okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda stick this to the side. Okay. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another little bowl we just, we have a bunch of these little sauce cups. We found them once in a thrift store. I, yeah. Now we need more, I can't even Somebody find them. Somebody has robbed Outback or some restaurant. They had, I wish we bought more. We would bought like 10 of them and now I really wish we bought more of them. Yeah, because they disappear. Okay, so you're gonna go one teaspoon of cinnamon. There's no teaspoon. Here's your teaspoon measure. And again, now here, once again, you can adjust this to your liking. If you want less cinnamon, you can use less cinnamon. If you want more cinnamon, you can add more cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Just understand there is carbs in cinnamon. Ooh, okay. All right. So now we're gonna take, you can use, we're gonna, we use this Lancanto monk fruit sweetener, which is basically monk fruit blended with erythritol. If you don't have this, you can also use erythritol, just straight erythritol. Okay. I like this, it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit less than the carbs. It is. Okay. So I'll use the other side so that all of our sugar isn't like cinnamon. Colored. And you're gonna go two teaspoons of this. One. Two. Okay. Now what you wanna do is just take the spoon mm -hmm. and kind of mix it all up. And basically what we're doing is we're making a cinnamon sugar. Oh, wow, that's nice. It feels so fancy. And again, if you wanna use less cinnamon, you can also do this with like a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Basically, you're going to double the erythritol to the cinnamon. So a quarter, of a, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of erythritol, one teaspoon of cinnamon to two teaspoons of erythritol. Even I can do that, Matt. Okay. So you all done? I think so. Okay, so now we've got this, and you oh can gosh, see in here, just thickens. again, you can see now it's like super thick, okay? Huh. So what you want to do is just take your fork again and you can see how it's just kind of mixed up. Okay. Okay, so yeah. you're good. Now just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to take your cinnamon and pour it into like a heaping mound right in the top. Oh. Like right in the middle. Pour it right in the middle. All of it. All of it. Okay. That's good. Now, here's the tricky part. You're gonna take the back of your spoon and you're gonna swirl, no, no, the back here. Oh, okay. You're gonna swirl that cinnamon in and maybe fold it over one or two times, but you don't wanna mix everything in, otherwise you're not gonna get that nice marbled look. Oh, okay, so like this. 
no, into the mixture itself. So I kind of like cut it in, like, yep. And then just kind of twirl it around. There you go. Oh, I get this, yeah. And again, don't mix it too much. You just want to kind of get that marbling look. Once good? you think you've got the way you like it, kind of flatten everything back out again. Now, if this, if your coconut flour mixture gets too thick, add a few drops of water. You can just go drop by drop and that'll help bring it back up to the right consistency. That's nice. And so this is what we're left with right here. Okay. Microwave, one minute and like 30 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. It's ready. That sounds like happy calling me. I actually, smells delicious. I actually had my little bar towel ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and show them this inside the mug. Does oh. that smell good? Mmm. Okay. Piping hot. I got my coffee ready for it. Wow. That is very pretty. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's Here's see how, how you know how well you swirled it. Right. And are we going to see marbling in the middle? <gasps> Look at me. Look at that. That is nice. So you have both the white and the cinnamony look to yep. it. Oh, and, and you can just see this is like very spongy. Moist. Very Sorry, moist. Kids. You ready? Yes. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. This is nice and sweet. Yeah? Wow. I love it. I like the cinnamon. That is delicious. I can't believe it. I'm gonna savor it. You can't savor it. Mmm. We have to tell them all about the nutrition. Okay, you start. Okay, let's go over the nutrition on this. Okay, so one mug cake, 377 calories, 36 grams of fat. It tastes so buttery and there's no butter. Yep, it's that coconut oil. And it does not have any coconut taste at all. No. Okay, so 377 calories, mm -hmm. 36 grams of fat, only 8.5 grams of protein. Wow, that's amazing. That's why it's more like a fat bomb. Yeah. Now we are looking at a total of 17 carbs if you eat the entire thing. Mm. But of those 17 carbs, six and a half grams are fiber. Thank you, flaxseed. And eight grams are your sugar alcohols from the erythritol. Wow, okay. what a difference. So that's gonna bring it down to one and a half net carbs for the whole mug cake. That's incredible. Okay. Okay. Now we can really lower that. If you want, what you could do is eliminate the granular erythritol and just use all liquid monk fruit extract or stevia, either one you want. Just double it up. And again, you're gonna to go to your own sweetness. Yep. Okay, so you would go up to probably about a half a teaspoon, maybe like 25 drops. Yeah. Same thing with your stevia. And if you do that, and then just take your cinnamon and blend, mix it in without sweetener, or you can try to make it like a liquid one and blend it in, mm -hmm. or just mix all the cinnamon together. You won't necessarily have that marbled look. Yeah. You know, or maybe just do half and half. But if you do that, you're going to eliminate another eight carbohydrates. Wow. So now you're going to bring it down to a total of nine total carbohydrates just by eliminating the granular erythritol. But it's really good. Yeah. Like, I think you'll it's really like it. It's going to have the same taste. I it it actually will be a little bit even sweeter. Oh, my goodness. And you won't have any kind of a cooling effect, which you don't really get from the granular. I don't. You know um, I'm super sensitive You don't really it. get that with the granular Lancanto um, just because it does have the monk fruit in there. Yeah. Uh, but you will, you can, that's why I'm saying you can even lower lower down the drops because monk fruit is so sweet. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have the same exact flavor. You may not just have that same marbled look, but you're eliminating a total of nine total carbs by do or eight total carbs by doing that. All right. Something to think about. So 
Well, that is our video for today. You did I a great did job. It. Yay. So, and again, this is a super easy one. It just Obviously. takes a couple minutes. If you need a dessert, hey, at the end of the day, you've finished up dinner and you're like, oh my gosh, I really need a bunch more fat, but what am I gonna do? This is a great dessert to do it with. And this this feels next level. Like, and honestly, when we do this, we usually flavor. make one and cut it in half and we just do. each eat half. Yeah, because know? it's very filling. It is, it's so fatty. It's so fatty, it's so filling. And it just, it tastes incredible. You're not going to know, I promise. Give this to your kids or your grandkids. They will not know that they're eating a sugar-free dessert. No, you won't. This is the one to try on them. Yeah. So like I said, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you make this. Also, if they top it with something. Yeah. I liked a little, I like a little whipped cream on top of mine. I put whipped cream on it. I put butter on it. And you know what else goes really good on it? Mm -hmm. Coconut butter. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. So but try it. Yeah, so let us know down below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we make a new recipe video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.